Good morning, class. I know many of you have been wondering what that stick is. <clears throat> we actually have two. Barb found some old wooden skis and two old wooden poles. And so there they are. She would be mortified right now if she knew we were discussing them as they are not part of the spring season decorating if you don't know that one. Chapter 13 people. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I hope you're enjoying the Benedict Cumberbatch. Well, there's only two more days on that one guys for and then it's gonna be a rental. So it's free right now. Um, so kind of get on that one for Friday's assignment. Monday's chapters one through third, one through eleven summaries and workouts and stuff. Um, I'm seeing a lot more quotes being used. So pink highlighter. I'm seeing a lot more analysis of what you think, not just what Tygen thinks. That's good. Kyle had a brilliant one today when. I think chapter 9 or 10, they discussed Victor's God Complex, and Kyle mentioned that he thinks the monster is kind of like Satan. So another God thing, only in opposite, that he was supposed to be this awesome thing and have this great life and, and be able to contribute things, but instead he fell from grace. Just like Lucifer. Guys, there's too many people to shout out at this point, besides, you know, Kyle's Satan comparison. Um, everyone that's texted, thank you. I'm sure this is me shouting you out, texted, you emailed, um, you've called. You're doing great jobs. Thank you. Keep it up. I'm loving it. Okay. He's with the family in his little hovel, he calls it. It's like a garden shed that they, they don't keep anything or never go out there so he can kind of spy on them. He feels like he's part of the family. He does chores at night, gathers wood, splits it. Um, now he's um, learning that Fe Felix and Agatha, the two brother and sister, um, an Arab girl shows up one day. And she looks different, talks different, and he's like, whoa. And so Felix and Agatha teach her Engl their language, probably German or a Swiss form of German. A little bit of French. You would have known all of those languages around there. Italian, they would have known that. So whatever they're speaking, ostensibly German, is what they're teaching this new girl who shows up. And Felix is, whoa, I think he's in love with her, like right away. But we don't know why she's there. Um, so as they're teaching that her, the monster is listening and learning. And he's learning it well. Her name's Safi, the Arab girl. Um, and she's a great singer too. In fact, she's such a great singer that on page 103, she sings so beautifully that they at once drew tears of sorrow and delight from my eyes. She sings like a nightingale. Again, she makes up the she sings like a nightingale trope that we all use. And now we know that the monster, the demon, the fiend is so sensitive that he can cry. Man. She and I improved rapidly in the knowledge of language so that in two months I began to comprehend most of the words uttered by my protectors. Whoa, so he's learning fast. 104, 105, they're reading The Ruins of Empires by Volney that is a book that I cheated through. That is the most horrifically 
terrible, difficult book. I had to cheat through it. The monster does not. That blew my mind when I got to that part. Was man indeed at once so powerful, so virtuous and magnificent, yet so vicious and base? He appeared at one time a mere scion of evil, principle at another as all that can be conceived of noble and godlike. To be a great and virtuous man appeared the highest honor that can befall a sensitive being. To be base, bad, and vicious, as many on record have been, appeared the lowest degradation, a condition more abject than that of blind mole or harmless worm. For a long time, I could not conceive how one man could go forth to murder his fellow, or even why there were laws of governments. But when I heard details of vice, uh, sin, bad stuff, drinking too much, drugs, and bloodshed, my wonders ceased, and I turned away with disgust and loathing. He's figuring out that people aren't good. He hasn't done anything bad yet. He's like, there has to be laws against people being bad? Why would you be bad? I really thought that was interesting. What about this one? You're supposed to be rich. Remember, this whole thing is about inequality and being treated wrong. Mary Shelley, she couldn't own a home. She couldn't have a bank account. She couldn't pick a man out to marry. She couldn't decide when and how long she would, just to be, she would be educated. She couldn't decide when she was going to have a child or how many she would have. She could, women could not own homes. They could not own property. They didn't vote. So from the lens of a woman using a monster, we have gained this massive inequality just being beat into our head. And it's still happening today in a lot of ways for a lot of people. And it's not right. So he learned that humans justified their means by being rich, the end, to get rich. The ends justify the means. Machiavelli is the prince. By the way, this is Johnny Carson today. Forgot to mention that one. Frederick Douglass could not make it. I love how Maddie H always does the, and so does Michaela, always, always, always does the extra credit. I'm Johnny Carson. Now, for this extra credit, not just three facts, but I want you to watch him on YouTube. Just a couple clips of the Johnny Carson Tonight Show. And when we get back together, I would love to debate with you why Jimmy Fallon should not be on the Tonight Show stage. That's Carson's stage. Let's give you a quick one. You know, Ed, it's so it's been so hot today. How hot is it? It's so hot. I saw Robin dipping his worm in his glass of nest tea. All right, back to it. He knows he doesn't fit in though. God, I know love is good. I know I don't think people should worry about being rich all the time. That Money doesn't buy happiness, but I don't have money. I don't have friends. I don't have family. I've already been torched and beaten out of the first village. So people hate me. And then at the end, he says, I will soon explain to what these feelings tended, but allow me now to return to my cottagers. These feelings tended at the very end there. Ooh. He will soon explain how these feeling, why am I here talking to you, telling you all this sad stuff? Is he foreshadowing something to Victor? Might Victor have a power that he could manipulate? We'll find out soon. Chapter 14 tomorrow class. This is Johnny Carson. Good afternoon class.